in this video, we're gonna rig a face with blend shapes automatically. If it helps you at all, my goodness, just give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment, let me know. <laughs> So first off, we start in Omniverse. We need to download the Blender 3.4 Alpha or whatever the current version is of the Omniverse branch of Blender. While you're at it, download audio to face, but we'll come back to that. Now in the Omniverse Blender version, I'm just gonna select everything, delete. I'm gonna import my character. Now I'm going to use a character creator three character, oh, sorry, character creator four character. And that's purely because it's a good character. Obviously, if you've got character creator four, you don't have to do any of this because these characters are already set up. But if you've got a custom character with no shape keys, so I'm just gonna delete all shape keys on all the parts, um, we're gonna go through that process of auto setting up shape keys. So there we go, the whole face now has no shape keys. If I start clicking on all the pieces, you can see that we've got no shape keys in here. Now there is a little bit of prep work. So first off, I'm gonna select our rig and I'm gonna set that to the default pose. So Alt R, Alt G, Alt S to reset the rotation, location and scale. Uh, back into object mode. From here, let's just get rid of the shirt. I need to cut off his head. <laughs> So I'm going to probably grab, let's go this route, this route, this route, and we can see that we've got edge loops coming around. Let's go to the back, and I'm just gonna cut through here. So Alt left, Alt Shift left click. Uh, let's go into wireframe, and I'm just gonna remove these bits because we're slicing them off. There we go. I'm gonna press V to rip the mesh. Then I'm gonna select the head, Control L, um, make sure we grab anything else in there. So we've got like eyelashes in there. Let's now go P separate by selection and we should have a head all by itself. So now to make my life easier, I actually am gonna separate these into two separate collections. So let's grab all our beards, our face, mo's, eyes. I think that is everything. Oh, tongue and the hair. Press M to move, new collection and we're just gonna call this head. So now we can come into our main collection, hide everything and just focus on this. So coming into the body, we need a solid mesh. So if I select the head, press tab to go into edit mode and I select just the head, we can see that we've got some things that are still hanging around. So with the head selected, I'm gonna press P to separate by selection and to make your life easier, start renaming. So this is gonna be CC body, uh, eyelashes. This one here is going to be, uh, let's just go main head. The other thing we need to do is separate the eyes. So selecting the eyeballs, let's come in edit mode, select our eyes, control L to make sure we select everything linked, P to separate by selection. So now we've got our, um, this one here is going to be eye left, and this one here is going to be eye right. Now from here, we can go ahead and select everything. We could probably merge the beards now. We don't need so much extra models to make our life a little bit difficult later. Let's go beard, mo, next double. And we're just gonna go control J. One last thing we need to do is with the teeth in here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go control I to invert my selection and hide. We need to separate the top teeth area with the bottom. So go into tab mode. Uh, let's go like so. Just gonna select all these teeth. Control L, make sure we got them all beautiful. P, separate by selection. And so we're gonna have down here, this is gonna be lower teeth. Now we can go ahead and select our character over into the Omniverse add-on. I'm gonna click export and let's just export that out, lovely. Now jumping over into the Omniverse, audio to face, we're gonna launch. And we've got this wonderful chap, obviously if we press play, we the can see that he's rigged, of of but I wanna get rid of him. So file, new, don't save. Down here in the content, let's go to where we saved our USD file. And with the file selected, I'm just gonna click and drag and put it into the stage. All right, let's line up the character. Cool beans, now over into the character transfer tab. I am going to select the body base mesh, and that's gonna be our skin. 
We're going to go character orientation is going to be minus X because I've done this before. Thank goodness. The gum and teeth. We know that that's going to be lower teeth. So we need to select the mesh. There we go. And our tongue. Where's our tongue? Here it is. Let's do now our left eye. Bam. Let's do our right eye. Bam. And additional meshes. Now, so for instance, the teeth. This is going to be static because it's joined to the head. Uh, male flat are eyebrows. So they're going to be dynamic. And we're going to kind of go through. So the hair, I'm going to leave as static. There shouldn't be any blend shapes on the hair. Next double will be dynamic. Tongue, we don't need to worry. Uh, main body head, we've already done that one. Eyelashes will become dynamic. And that is it. So from here, we're going to click set up character. Yes, we do. And now that's going to add in our two extra characters. So mark and mark open mouth. And so now we got to kind of join these characters. So the more effort you put in here, the better the blend shapes will be. Uh, so if we come up here, let's close that one down and we've got a transferred character. I'm going to click on extra and I'm just going to hide the static and the dynamic. So we've just got raw face. Now over here on the right hand side, we've got add mode and we just go ahead and start adding in points. Apparently eight is the best number to go. However, like I said before, the more you do, the better it will be. And we're kind of just mixing this up. Now this does work for um, random characters, so non-human characters as well. But it's kind of, yeah, just working around. And I'll fast forward this bit. And if you put a wrong one in, just go into escape and we can delete whichever ones we want. So for instance, we can work out which ones we've done wrong. Um, but let's continue on. All right, so I'm fairly happy with that. You can see how many dots I've done. You can go more, you can maybe go less, whatevs. But from here, what I'm done is I'm done adding. Now I'm gonna go begin mesh fitting and you can see that it's gonna be deformed. However, now I can go begin post wrap and that's put that back into place. Sick. From here, I'm gonna go jaw motion prep and just click okay. Tongue mesh fitting, okay. Tongue mesh post wrap, okay. All right, now let's bring back our static and dynamic. We're gonna go into proxy UI. I'm just gonna click and drag and put that in there. Oop, down there, buddy. So the first thing we need to do now is select our base mesh, and then we go ahead and start adding in the rest of our meshes. So all our dynamic, our static, our eyes, oh, darn it. our eyes, and then don't forget the tongue result and the teeth. So now we've selected all that. I'm going to hit apply. Success, lovely. Let's do a blend shape transfer now. That's looking fantastic. And now we've got all these base meshes um, for the blend swap, uh, blend shapes. Now I can go export as USD. Let's now save this one as A, A to F, new export. And we're gonna click save. Now it's gonna export two USDs. We want this USD SCAL, skeleton I assume. If that's not there, it's not gonna work. So we gotta make sure that we have those blend shapes enabled, then we can export. Trust me, <laughs> it took me a while to work that out. Now we can go back into Blender. We're gonna be using the Omniverse version. So the one we were in before. What I'm gonna do now is with this head, I'm just gonna hide it. Now let's go import import our A to F new export USD scale, import. And you can see that it's not there. That's fine, it's here. Select the empty, rotate X 90 to the minus, lovely. I'm now gonna select everything, control A and apply the scale. Now what I can do is delete that empty. I'm gonna delete our armature. I'm gonna select all this mesh. Let's go M new collection, A to F, head just to make our lives a little bit easier now we need to remove the vertex groups for all these so unfortunately one by one remove remove give me a sec that has now all been removed from all these however now we need to go into the modifiers and we've got to remove the armature modifier from all these so give me a sec beautiful we should have probably checked if there's shape keys so if we click on the object data we can see that we've got shape keys Oh my goodness, I am so chuffed. All right, 
Now you have to remember when we're applying the shape keys, we're applying it just to that mesh. Obviously, if we wanted to, we could join the meshes together and just have one mesh. That's up to you how you want to do that. We are not finished yet because this character doesn't have any vertex groups. So it's not actually going to be attached to the rig. So what we need to do now is I'm going to unhide our head and we're going to transfer our weights from the one mesh to the other. Right. <laughs> from here, I'm going to select the next stubble. So the original mesh and then stubble neck on the one we just imported. Object mode, weight painting, weights, transfer weights, and then we're gonna bring up the menu. Um, we want to change the vertex mapping to nearest face interpolation or interpolated. We want to change radius to five. We wanna change the source layers to be sorted by name. And you can see now that our vertex groups have come in, sick. Um, now, there, with this character, there is a bone that, that controls the jaw, so that's why there's that. But now let's quickly go through and select everything else. So male flat, male flat, uh, object mode, weight paint, transfer weights, and these settings will remain the same. So uh, yeah, just, uh, just give me another sec. Okay, done. So now everything's got its own shape keys, beautiful. Let's get rid of the head now. Now we need to attach the armature to our mesh. So we're gonna go into the modifiers, add modifier armature. There is only one in there. Let's now go ahead and select everything and we'll select our mesh that we just applied the armature. Control L to have everything linked. We're gonna link, uh, sorry, copy modifiers. Now everything's got the same modifier. We can unhide the collection with our body. I'm gonna select the body and then the head mesh. Now I'm gonna press Control J to join. And uh, now we're back to having this character fully rigged. Uh, so if I were to move the jawbone, and we can see that the beard is, actually it was already set up, but we could see that now we've transferred all the vertex groups onto the new beard. And obviously now if we come back into object mode, we select our head. Uh, let's go into object data. We can see that we can move stuff around. Let me just quickly go ahead and join a whole bunch of this. There we go. And so now, oh my goodness, it freaking works. <laughs> we auto rigged a head with blend shapes. This is like three, four days to work this out. If this helped you, just give me a like, give me a subscribe, please. Let me know in the comments below. This is how you auto rig a face. I'm pretty close, no, I'm fine. I am wrecked. It is 1 a.m.